moment. Okay, so what you can take away tonight uh, is actually two important things. First thing, actually, I'll share five simple, quick, and easy tips on taking mock tail photography. And another one, actually, is about uh, so called uh, on the go editing, which is on the go editing using our apps. A lot of times, when the, my good old days, we actually use dark room, uh, light room to edit, but now we're doing on, on smartphone. So, the, the, another takeaway is also tonight. A uh, quick one at the same time, you also learn how to do mocktail. So, okay, without any uh, delay and now day, everybody should be as excited as me. I'll go into action. Okay, so the first thing while I share the five tips at the same time, while I share at the same time, I also do at the same time. Okay, so first tip is actually, in fact, what you can see on the screen, uh, first tip is about knowing the surface. So, surface is very important. Whether you want to create a rustic look, a very home look. So, the key thing actually, in fact, it can be uh, a lot of drinks you can say. It, it can be uh, modern, trendy, but for my case, Christmas is always about family, gathering. So a woody surface like this is very important. So what I can see from the camera, you can see from here, uh, when you know the surface, I want to create is actually homely uh, creation and warmness. So this, this, this table fits perfectly. So the first, first tip is actually looking for a good surface. Okay. The second one actually, in fact, is about lighting. So of course you can see, this Christmas tree, and by the way, this Christmas tree is real Christmas tree, yeah. Uh, okay, it, it's Christmas, it's real, and the key thing is it, it's already got light up. And this, this is already our ambient light. A lot of time in the uh, daytime you can shoot is using daylight, you use window light. But for night itself, and because of the fact that what you are learned today, uh, it's also a good thing is actually we no need a big DSLR. And and the good thing, the DSLR itself is my equipment is smartphone, which I presume most, most of us will have. And most of us will bring this around for gathering anywhere. So smartphone photography is the easiest way. So what I learned is actually the best camera is the best, the best camera is the phone that is holding with you. Okay. So surface done ready. Second thing tips is actually look at the lighting. So actually we also want to create a warm, warm light. So warm light itself will in fact create a very homely feel itself. Okay. The, the third one that you're actually looking at is about the shapes and size. So you can say, in um, uh, food photography, which is the color, the, the taste, although you can see, cannot see the taste, but the shape of this, this cup, these glasses. So individual glasses create different kind of uh, a mood itself. So I got three glasses. So later what I'll, I'll share, uh, while I'm doing the cocktail and uh, pouring inside itself, you can see different shape and you create different kind of uh, uh, effect at the same time. Okay, so know your your uh, shapes and color. Same thing also props. So Christmas, right? So Christmas got all this uh, jolly candy, then uh, also strawberries. So in fact, uh, thanks to one of my friends that is actually she's a, uh, he's a bartender. Uh, uh, what's his name again? It's, uh, Jared. So the key thing actually he's a bar bartender. So he tell me that to sprinkle some icing sugar, right, would make it very snowy effect. So in fact, I bought the uh, icing sugar. So we actually will sprinkle onto the strawberry later on. So actually, that's what we're talking about. The third tip, which is shape, size, and props. Okay. The fourth one is actually is about what you can see is composition. So composition wise itself, right? Whether at home, where we know that now, uh, so by the 8th, 28th uh, December, the circuit breaker will open up. But if by 25th, we talk about five people, but it's a home set setting. So I'm utilizing utilizing this table. Okay, so this table itself, composition-wise, I'll use this area. The, the key thing to note about food photography is actually similar to drink photography. Everything will melt. Food can get hardened. And uh, drinks also can actually can, can be evaporated, not say it, it condensed too fast. So the key thing, you must set up first. So by set up it properly, so that later when into action, uh, we know that pouring the mixing is all ready. So to me, it's actually, uh, I'll move to one side. I'll move to this side, okay? Just to show you my, my angle, okay? So uh, I'll be facing this Christmas tree because this Christmas tree is very nice. So I'm using this, this uh, angle. Just follow me, okay? So from here is that right, okay? I will actually turn on my uh, phone to share you my actual screen, okay? So this is my actual screen, okay? My actual screen, is it on the lawn line now? Yeah, this is my actual screen. So I'm actually trying to use this area that is 
very nice, perfectly. I go to the camera. Okay. So the key thing actually, in fact, you position it nicely first. So this, this is a rough idea of what I will be positioning it. The, the different glasses. Okay. I start with one. So this will be the this will mark the space itself. Okay. So the other angle also can be this this angle. And the other one also, I'm looking at this perspective or landscape. And the key, key thing about all these pictures, right? You can use it as an e invite. You can use it as a Christmas card at the same time and all created by yourself. And to share with your friends, so personalized. Okay? So I'll switch back to my screen again and I'll go into action about doing the mocktail. Okay? So I'll go back to my... I'll, un I'll share this screen. Okay? I go back into here. Okay, I'll do a mocktail. Okay, so you can see here, in fact, uh, the whole mocktail was actually, in fact, must thank to the earlier weekend session uh, where uh, Candy and Jeanette were sharing about how to make a mocktail through collagen peptide, which the taste is piper, which I like it very much. And the key thing, you look at all this flavor, it's all different excess, which is sugar free. And actually, it's chilled and it's sparkling at the same time. So to me, it's actually uh, out of this flavor. If you all got any flavor that you like, do share with me, but I'll choose. Uh, pink uh, grapefruits, okay? So to without further ado, I'll zoom in, okay? To mix, first thing is the collagen, okay? Pour the water. Okay, the, the good thing is actually, uh, you'll be able to see different shades of color later on when you mix the mocktail, okay? So one sachet, in fact, you have to look at the weekend uh, sharing session, uh, one sachet is about uh, 5 kg of burn nest. So the collagen is actually so good for the skin, good for the joint, but it's also healthy at the same time. But the key thing, I like the taste because it created the tinted yellow color and it's actually pineapple taste. A lot of mocktail, even cocktail itself, they use pineapple. So it's actually, it's actually as natural as we can. Yeah, it's collagen peptide. Okay, so we got the color. Okay, next thing is, this is the ice. Okay, ice. I'll put into this shape. Okay, maybe I'll, I'll go to this simple shape first, okay? Okay. Oh. See, the ice will melt so fast. See, got to, got to shake it. Yes. Thank you also. Okay. So the eyes are actually don't need a lot to this, this, this brim. Okay, so the next thing actually, we start pouring the collagen peptide, which is pineapple taste, to get the color. So the first layer that you can see, uh, in fact, is a bit of white pineapple tinted yellow. Then this grapefruit XS, which is sugar free, you look at the color. The interesting part is you see the separation. And that's what we wanted to show a different graduation. So from here, to add the color, everything is faster. Strawberry, okay? Strawberry. Put into one side. So slowly the color is coming up. Okay? So this is actually the mocktail with the mix of uh, collagen peptide, excess drinks, which is the grapefruit, and a good setup like this. Got the color, got the texture. So you can see, if to create more Christmas sea feel, that's where you sprinkle these are real Christmas tree leaves uh, over it. Okay? Then the key thing actually, some of the strawberry, you can just place somewhere around here to get as natural that you are supposed to get it fresh. It's not just a, a shape itself, you actually got the color, the texture. So I'll go into this area 
Because of this, if I face this angle, you're shooting at my back view. Huh? So I'm going to this area. Okay, just follow the camera, follow me over, over here. Okay. So just now, what we see is actually is adjust again. So I'll go into my camera view now. Huh? Okay, I'll share my camera view. Okay, camera. Can see? Or is it the screen? Yeah, I can. Okay. So actually, see, everything goes to move very fast. The drinks also is, is slowly uh, blending together. Really. So from here, looking at the screen. Okay. To the leaf. Go closer. Always when you do uh, composition wise, right? Uh, go to an odd number. Odd number actually make the picture composition more, more interesting and uh, attractive. So from here, okay. I think I make some more color. Huh? Okay, can see the screen? Share already? Oh, I'll share one more time. Huh? Okay, see technology are still figuring out huh, sometimes. So give me some time. Pause the camera. Share screen. Can view it? Can you see? It? Yes. Okay. Coming out, huh? Okay. Good. Okay. So from here itself, adjust a bit the props. So you got to get the best angle. So it's similar like model. Uh, you turn around actually, whichever angle is actually suitable. Of, of course, you can turn the cup itself, but you're not just look, looking at here. See, you can also zoom in further. So you can compress the background. You blur it a bit more. How come got timer? Let me off the timer. Okay, first earlier we're doing a selfie. Okay, so you can see uh, this 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 uh drinks itself is moving so fast. So I think I'll make another one to show different shape again. Okay. Okay, I've got to on off the timer. Okay, so the key, the key thing actually to make the the drinks very chill at the same time, right? Of course, we always say the next thing is about spraying. Okay. So spray the glass. See a lot of difference that you can see from here. See the, the spray. You can look at my phone screen. Huh? Have and don't have. Okay, so there's a big difference. So from here. Okay. This this jolly stick must adjust. So all these are small details. They can still fight you. Okay. So you can still adjust. Okay. 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 So looking at this, right, uh, I still can be better by creating another mocktail, a quick one, using the same collagen peptide, pour over it. Okay, I'll put the ice.
Oops. Okay. I'll try the other color, which I will show the different graduation, uh, which is cranberry grapes. Okay. Camera can see. This one can see the color differentiation even nicer because there's a purplish, pinkish color which fits the team. Okay? Adjust a bit more. And you can see the sparkling so clearly. Okay? Okay, same thing again. One side. Strawberry. Okay, cut half. So same thing again. Uh, later, I'll, I'll sprinkle the, the icing sugar to see the effect. Okay. See, this is actually a very nice Christmassy mocktail that is done within like five minutes. Okay, this one uh, is first time I'm using icing sugar onto the strawberry. I'm not too sure how is the effect. I just sprinkle. Which uh, the bartender friend, uh, Jorah, was saying, in fact, it creates a snowy effect, which I, I quite like it. And uh, I like sugar, I think sugar itself that is also quite sweet itself. But it's also very fine. Okay, so some of the things uh, can just sprinkle on the table. Can be as natural because you're sprinkling it at the same time. Uh. Okay, good. So it's not kind of also here. Okay, so you can see this is a combination of two different shapes. Same effect is my camera. Ah, okay, good. Okay, so the key thing is I'll zoom in. Okay, maximize the, the screen. The strawberry can be adjusted, but now currently got two. Okay, if the leaf not enough, just add on. It should be as natural as it's coming out from the kitchen or it's actually somebody preparing at home. Okay, so it's there. Okay, composition wise, see, if you want to make anything that's actually more dramatic, right? Camera can just tilt this way. So, like myself, right? Everybody's not very tall. So, actually, to shoot my picture and become very longish itself, right? Just tilt the camera. But of course, for those people that actually the weight itself, right? Then you've got to take care of your double chin. But it's not similar to glasses itself, right? Drinks, tilt angle, it gives them the distinct look. Okay, the other angle. Okay, same thing again, just spray some. Okay, I'll show you the screen. Huh? See, when we actually add on the sparkling water, so just spray over it. The effect is so much chill. Okay, so in, in the first place, the excess drink is actually not on, uh, directly from the fridge. It was actually take, take out for a while already. But the key thing is, see, see the effect? Wow. Okay. I think it cut off, huh? I just do one more time. Okay, I think the camera is hot. Okay, at least I got a shot already. My camera is just getting hot because of the combination of live, zoom, so many apps at the same time. So don't worry, I come back to this area, okay? So what you can see is actually, in fact, it's as easy as combination of just drinks, peptide, you got your own mocktail, okay? And we wanted to capture is actually the shape and the color and of course the Christmas sea feel. The next thing is actually, in fact, is when I say the takeaway for tonight is on-the-go apps editing. So uh, instead of uh, 
downloading pictures on your computer, getting a Lightroom. Now everything is on your phone. And the key thing with your phone itself, right? Editing is so much easier. So what I recommend, so normally those who actually uh, follow my uh, uh, photography session, a lot of time I use Snapseed. But today actually, in fact, gotten the feedback uh, that good to have a different app. So I just start finding out more. Uh, go back to the basic of uh, May 2. So this May 2, right? To uh, my earlier perception, May 2 is actually more for portraiture. Very softened. You want to actually edit the picture. I even have this perception that when you edit too much, uh, sometimes it can be too fake for a, a portrait. But then I realized that they have improved. So I'll go back to my screen to show. Hopefully, can show the zoom screen again uh, because my phone is a bit hot. But I go back to the zoom. Oh, I think my zoom. Will you can help me to set the, the zoom again? Yeah. So uh, the key thing actually, in fact, the, the tool that I'm using to today and you'll be learning at the same time and so easy is May 2 apps. So May 2, what was it? May 2 is actually earlier it's supposed to be for editing your face, portrait itself. Now they're very advanced. You even can edit video. The key thing, you also can edit food photography, uh, landscaping at the same time. And a lot of functions actually, in fact, it's so easy and straightforward. So later from the two pictures that I've taken, right, you'll see a very big improvement uh, so that the picture that you, once you capture earlier just now, is decent. If you already know that what I show you in terms of composition, posing placement, the prop itself, the shape, the color, you all, we already capture what we require. But to add on to the fact that this May 2 will enable us, uh, okay, enable us to go to the editing level, which is, I share my screen now, okay. This May 2, okay, go back to uh, exit first. Uh. So May 2 is this function, May 2, M-I-M-E-I-T-U. I think a lot of uh, female uh, friends already know May 2. Uh, but a lot of pictures edit with so much nicer. So of course, uh, from this May 2 itself, I use it for food photography. So from here, it's now looking at the screen, right? You can see you got portrait retouching, video editing. Very simple, go into photo editing. So photo editing itself, right? Okay, so select my earlier picture. So of course, the first picture that uh, I zoom in, okay, this on the screen. Looking at the picture itself, it's actually pretty decent, but because of the app itself, that's so wonderful, right? Which immediately after this session, you all must download. And sure, you must start sharing to all your friends and also share the, this session online and on your timeline at the same time. Go to filter, okay? The second, first step is open, then go to filter. Filter, and because the app is so smart, they know that it's actually it's about food, drinks, and not human. They go into gourmet. So the gourmet icon, right, they got different functions. You just click T14, a bit of lighter shade itself. Then uh, T62, slightly more orangey, slightly more bluish. So the key thing is you adjust to whichever you like first as the first layer. So to me, it's actually, after, after choosing, Okay, after choosing, I like the T22. Okay, this is actually we can play around. The key thing is everything is free and fast. So we just click OK. After clicking OK, the next step is actually go to palette. So the palette also very fun. Very simple again. It's like brightness, contrast, and I always feel that any picture that makes it stand out, you make a, a slightly more contrasty picture. So I control the contrast. Make it contrast so that even the, the water droplet uh, becomes sharper. Okay? After that, you go to color. You click on color. That's where you play around with the saturation. Strawberry needs to be red, needs to be red. A lot of phone when we take out, it's not about high-end phone or low-end phone, because some natural light it affects the texture and color of, a, of the fruit or the food itself. So using this as well, you enhance the color, which is go back to the natural color. So strawberry is red, right? I can increase the saturation. So a lot of time I uh, I share with my friends that like, don't oversaturate, it become very fake and plasticky. You look at to your eyes like if it's edited too much, like, will you eat the, the food itself and will you be appealing to other people? So control accordingly, adjust. Okay, so to me it's actually adjust a bit compared to Snapseed itself. Right, uh, on top they will share with you the number. This one is on the left hand side, so you can see it's plus nine, a bit very tiny plus nine at one uh, bottom left corner. Okay, plus nine. 
So if I put more color, it definitely get enhanced. Okay, second thing is actually color temperature. Color temperature is actually there's warm light, there's warm light, cool light and warm light. So cool light actually imagine you want to show a very icy place. Of course, we use the cool light. Cool light is a bit more bluish. So I show you the blue light. So this is actually slightly bluish. Okay, we want warm light, very family, very wholesome, very, very gathering. You add more orangey. So imagine just now I said the pineapple needs to be a bit of tinge of yellow, right? This is actually able to enhance it correctly. So the yellow is being shown. The next thing actually, go back to disper dispersion. Okay, dispersion is actually, in short, uh, is lens blur. And it's so wonderful that at the end of the day, it can control the background uh, that it blur to a certain extent. You want it to be circular, you want it to be a uh, different perspective. So that, see, this is without blur. This is a bit of blur, which a bit of a uh, sparrow effect. Okay? So just do a bit, not too much, you bring it over. Okay? And the last one that normally our, our advice is actually using vignette. So vignette is actually when you go to a movie, four corner, you focus your eyes into the center, and that's where in the cinema effect. So the vignette itself, you use the studio view. Okay? So from here, save. If you feel that you, know, you still want to adjust a bit more to see whether is it alright, but you save first. Okay? The, the good thing, okay. Okay, just last three more minutes. Okay, so from here, basically what you see on the screen is a, a easy edited all within five, five minutes. Okay, last one, uh, last one, uh, because I, know they, I also shoot another picture, right? So with two picture combination of two, uh, I mean not two picture, two uh, shape and size of the drinks. Okay, okay, so go back to this one. Okay, this one. Okay, so from here itself, you can see the picture purposely take a bit. Okay, I can say purposely yeah, because just now I didn't angle properly. Yeah, but in fact, the killing, it can rectify. Okay, so go back to the three step again. Uh, palette in the filter. Select the gourmet. You bring out the color of the food. Okay, you want to be consistent to the earlier picture. To me, I choose back to the earlier uh, T22. Okay, next thing is actually, in fact, go back to palette. So speed up really, so we already improved really. All of us get to know about it. So improve, the next thing is go back to where? Contrast. Contrast, you bring out all the contrast of the, the droplet, the, the, the background, the shape itself. So contrast a bit. The next thing is color, correct? Color. So color, see, the second drink that we do is actually is about cranberries. So cranberries is a bit of tinted purplish. So, okay, adjusted. See the color, don't overpowering. Okay, next one is actually temperature. See, this, when you know this few function, right? Temperature just add on a bit more. You look at the strawberry, if you can actually go closer. See a strawberry, and this is actually taken from a normal phone, not a DSLR in a, in a manner. It can be as sharp, and because of the right editing tool itself, right? It brings out the color of a strawberry. But of course, to go even closer, we can see that. All this detail is actually being shown, okay? So the next thing is actually, uh, after the brightness, okay, detail, color, temperature. Okay, detail, that's where it's about dispersion. So it's going to actually make the background a bit blur a bit more. Just a bit, can already. Lastly, ending it with a very good vignette, okay? Compared to uh, this app, May 2 and Snapseed, right? I, I personally like the Snapseed vignette because it's actually better control and it's actually it's, it's more uh, encompassing. But anyway, we always use, you can use one app easy, then continue one app. You can use combine two apps, now the picture will turn out also differently. Okay, so lastly, it's about tilting this angle. See, I, if, I, if any of us, when we shoot, we show sometimes carelessly, anyhow shoot. We, we, uh, we have a tilt angle, so don't worry from here, you can actually adjust. Edit. Okay, edit over here, there's a rotate. Okay, see the rotate actually, in fact, by angle. 
which is very interesting. So you can control by the percent, how many degrees. So just still, see? So even like a lot of people shooting uh, horizon, the sea itself, if you actually shoot horizon this, this way and you, you, you forget about detail, the, the ship or the background is a bit like tilting down, same as food itself. You also make it straight and proper unless you want to make it like somebody is climbing up the stairs. So you actually tilt. But you're not, this function, you just rotate adjust accordingly, see, in parallel, this drink itself is actually rectified directly. So in fact, there's, there's a function called recti rectified beside rotating. So I just show you, you how to, what, what does it mean by rectified? See, from here, you can have different angle, different perspective. So imagine if it's actually a, a, a certain, drinks or certain alcohol brand that you want to show out at the same time or certain fruits that you want to show you can take an angle in this manner so see okay but for today i will not be using this rectification but at least you know that this rectified can be done okay so there you have it save it okay and uh, those who actually follow my facebook and instagram i actually always like to post picture and not just uh it's about capturing the moment it's about archiving a lot of time we actually put in our phone uh, after a while the phone may have too full that you you may accidentally drop your phone which happened to me before and all the precious pictures all gone of course you can say uh upload to your cloud itself but uh, you can archive into your ig facebook the key thing actually in fact you can recall later on so same thing using this app itself uh, you can actually go to instagram okay you can select stories so this is live ready okay so if you actually follow my facebook which is edmund cozy w and Instagram, same thing just over here key some messaging mocktail hashtag hashtag of course is where, where we learn it is actually oxfield 1969 Okay, XP1969. Then the key thing actually today is about mocktail, mocktail photography. So I put mocktail photography. Okay, the good thing actually, you would use live. Uh, in fact, live will actually, uh, within 24 hours, you'll be gone, but I also can save as a highlight. I also start using it the last two to three weeks, which I also quite enjoy it. Because it's like a movie that people look at it instead of scroll your, your pages, a lot of people may miss out. But in the live itself, it's actually on the top. So definitely your friend will still see at the same time. Okay. Okay. So to me, this is ready. And the next thing is actually I will live it. So it's already live on my Instagram. So tonight's session is a very good takeaway for all of us, especially during this festive season. And especially we've got friends that actually always wanted to better their photography. And in fact, uh, once I discovered about phonography, which is using your phone to take photography, I, I'm very delighted because the technology is getting better and better. It's not just about a uh, certain brand or Huawei or P20, P40 that can zoom in. It's about back, back to the composition back to the detail and because of the fact that it's always in our hand itself right we are always looking out for interesting things so if you actually look at the the a lot of people post on picture itself right they, their picture getting better and better because the phone is in your hand and the editing tool is so much easier that you can download and it's free okay with that itself right and today uh, we're talking about mocktail photography after this session from the same technique itself the, the look at the like first thing that we recall again uh, the takeaway are uh, the five tips First thing is actually surface. So food itself, uh, surface very important. Drinks, everything is about surface. They want to project, project. Second thing, lighting. Okay, so very thankfully that this environment, the, the ambient light is so wonderful that even got light up itself, it make my photography easy. But even at home, the key thing actually, you can adjust. So to me, another tool that I bring around is actually, in fact, this small ring fresh. So small ring fresh actually costs less than $30, uh, but it's very good to actually eliminate so you look at this itself, it's a very good elimination, okay, which are 
Is there a camera that can show? Ah, see? Which you can show the different angle. So without uh, so-called distracting the whole dinner environment. Wait, wait, I gotta bring out a big refresh. Simple refresh, take out from your pocket. Can take a very nice picture, okay? And with the third tip is actually, in fact, getting the shapes. So in fact, the plates, the, the fork and spoon, the cup shape, the color, play a part in bringing out the picture, okay? And of course, the, the fourth one is actually what we share is about background. So background, thankfully, this tree. But if your home itself, just go for a very nice corner, can even at your kitchen to show that it's actually homemade or it can be on a dining table. So background is being settled because it can be at your home or at your friend's gathering place. Okay, lastly, it's about using the spray droplet. So spray droplet is very, very important to me or even to food photography, especially for food, like for drinks. Because drink, you want to create the chill effect unless it's coffee, unless it's warm. But if not, to get the chill effect, instead of you bring up from the fridge, you just... Just spray this thing. So where's my spray? So very easy. So even the time this same spray, I have another one, uh, disinfection, disinfectant. But you're not bring around. So basically tonight, after the takeaway session, this tool, this tool is a good tool for uh, food photography. And this is your camera. This is your moment. This is what you're capturing every day that you can capture as much as uh, without worry about film or capacity. Okay, that's all for my own uh, sharing. Do follow our uh, Ask Pure 1969 for more sharing session. In fact, uh, very interestingly, uh, I also start picking up Korea, which are uh, all teaching Korea is actually so because not just about K-pop, you learn a culture through language, and we have a good teacher over here. And I think that we also are teaching Japan, and uh, whether is it uh, male or female, we also need to look presentable. Here, we're also being learned about skincare and uh, beauty. And of course, to me, I like fitness. So we also learn about fitness, trim and fit. And also, uh, you look at the Sunday, Ask Your 1969, uh, which is under the trimination, which is change your body. So that one, I really follow because uh, I also share with my friend because if you want to change your body, you got to change your habit. And if you have an environment that do together and have a live session, do, do, do pop in. So continue to like our page, continue to follow us. Okay, I'll see you soon. Next session, targeted, is actually nearing to end of the year. In fact, this morning, I just met two very awesome photographers. They are a natural photographer. They shoot nature. So the, the key theme actually is about shooting from norm to great moments. So look forward on that. And uh, because you once you like the page and you get notification, you will actually get notified about the next session. Okay, that's all for tonight. Stay tuned. Bye-bye. Thank you.